Well, good evening. It's ten o'clock. That means Compline. Let's come before the Lord. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So a moment to reflect on all this day has held, good, bad and ugly. And as we bring it together, we pray. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 104 Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord my God, how excellent is your greatness. You appointed the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The lions roar for their prey and seek their food from God. The sun rises and they are gone to lay themselves down in their dens. People go forth to their work and to their labour until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea spread far and wide, and there move creatures beyond number, both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that leviathan which you have made to play in the deep. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it them, they gather it. You open your hand, and they are filled with good. When you hide it, when you hide your face, they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die, and return again to the dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure for ever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Revelation chapter 22 verses 4 and 5 The servants of the Lamb shall see the face of God, whose name will be on their foreheads. There will be no more night. They will not need the light of a lamp or the light of the sun. For God will be their light, and they will reign for ever and ever. Amen. 
Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into, alleluia, alleluia. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. As he promised to you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Father God, as we come before you this night, as we think of the day now coming to its end, as we rejoice that as we go to our beds, those in other lands are waking, the voice of praise and prayer is never silent. As we pass the baton, as our friends in New Zealand and Australia, as our Antipodean friends, wake and take up the song. Father, we thank you for all that you are in us, all that you give to us, all that you share with us. And Lord, as we come to bed this night, we know that whether we wake or sleep, you're yours. So Lord, as we bring our prayers to you, we ask that you give us a quiet night and a perfect end. That you surround us with all that we are forgiven, redeemed, blessed. And as we revel in that thought that we are redeemed, we are blessed. In the shadow of your love, in the shadow of the cross of Christ, we bring before you the failings of this day. We bring before you the things that have wounded us, the people that have wounded us. And as we reflect on them, we pray, Lord, our forgiveness. And we look to your forgiveness to redeem, renew, and to make them different. As we ask you, to redeem, renew, forgive, and make us different. Father God, as darkness comes, as the rain falls,
Father, we pray for those who in the darkness of this night will know tears. Those for whom in the darkness of this night will understand what it is to be bereft, broken, damaged. So as we come to our beds, we pray this night for Margaret and for her appointment in the coming week with her radiotherapy person and for John as he cares for his wife for Graham who is in dire need of a transplant and for Gillian who is keeping the family going and caring for her man Lord we pray this night Gillian and for Luke and for Simon, three people with needs, and for Josh Eden as he sleeps, that the medication he takes might not just alleviate the symptoms but not bring new ones. We bring before you Mo and George and pray for his life and for Mo standing by her man. We pray for Philip and his continued recovery as the pain comes. Lord, we pray that it would be doable and as all that happens in his body slowly eases and the ability to do what he hasn't for a while is returned we give you thanks that he's once bouncing as ever will serve you in the way he serves others we pray for olive living in a place which has before it so many tensions at this time and as some wish to see a division that may cause a return to the terrible times of the troubles but we pray for peace on that island and we pray for peace over Olive and her family there for Harrison and Marianne who are at Queen's Belfast are also literally perhaps potentially in the firing line if things go wrong for Rebecca and for Emma and their recovery from long Covid for Sue Shakespeare for the gardeners for the Treadwell family for Max and his family in Keep for Jude and Richard as they wake, as we go to bed, as they take up the baton, may they know your peace, your blessing, your presence and your healing in so many ways. For the Paling family and their many needs. For John as he asleep, slowly rebuilds his body after the bumps that the health service have left. Father God, you call us to be your people. You call us to be a blessing. Father God, touch us this night. Make really in us those words, mandate novum, a new commandment. As the reading today in the Gospel spoke of Jesus having washed the feet and Judas left, using the words, a new mandate I give to you, love one another as I have loved you. Father, may that be the hallmark of our lives, love acceptance, dialogue, 
not division and condemnation. And Lord, as the seasons change, as we in our lives, like weathermen on a clock, as one goes out with the sun shades and the warm weather clothes, only to find that time and tide bring the umbrella and a change of life and so many things. Lord, as we age, as the day comes when we are not what we were, and the day comes when the things we've done come to an end, and new doors are open. Father, we pray for each of us this night and for those we know, as they age, as their seasons change, your blessings would remain constant. Lord, touch our minds, touch our hearts, touch our actions. For Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, Grant that, as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help may we bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. And with the words our Saviour gave us, we are bold to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May the risen Lord Jesus bless us. May he watch over us and renew us as he renews the whole of creation. May our hearts and lives echo his love. Amen. Thank you for being with us this evening. Sleep well, be blessed, and may tomorrow be a day of blessing and a day of triumphs for those whose problems, whose difficulties, whose situations bring you to pray, to weep, to care. Bless you guys. Thanks for being with us.